Thought, so go ahead. Mr. Chairman, thank you, and Senator Brasso, thanks, and members of the committee. Um, thanks for allowing us to join the kind of participate on the roundtable. I'm Steve Bowles. I'm the CEO of GE's Power and Water business, <clears throat> which is about $28 billion, and we span advanced power generation to water technology. GE's got a pretty deep heritage in, uh, in our company and deep heritage in the gas industry. Uh, a number of our GE businesses span everywhere from extraction, transport, processing, and end use as a power generation. My perspectives here I'm going to share primarily uh, from a perspective around the world. Seventy percent of our revenue is outside the U.S., and uh, I want to share perspectives of, from visiting customers and energy ministers around the world. I have four key observations to share with you on natural gas. The first of which is U.S. natural gas supply is a global game changer, and everybody in the world is watching the U.S. right now. From Brazil, Saudi Arabia, China, one of the first questions I get when I visit a customer or an energy minister anywhere in the world is, what's the U.S. doing with natural gas? I can tell you from the World Economic Forum in Davos this year, it was the one hottest topic across all industries, and it really puts the U.S in a very uh, strategic light. And all other countries are watching what's going on here because they want to utilize their endowment of natural gas also. So the U.S. is in a great position, two of which is industry and government leaders from around the world would love to have the domestic benefits available to the U.S. as a result of natural gas reserves. I think we all know about the domestic, abundant, clean fuel source that creates jobs here. The other point I'd like to make is technology developed to deploy natural gas is ultimately exportable, which creates another wave of jobs. We have a fairly good size manufacturing facility in Greenville, South Carolina, and over the last four years, 89% of our gas turbines roll out of that facility are shipped external to the U.S. And today, gas turbines are GE's and the United States' biggest clean energy technology export. Third, from a power generation point of view, gas is a great diversifier. As I meet energy ministers around the world, it's not one single power generation source, it's gas as a diversifier. A lot has been talked about the need for different technologies. One of the key enablers that gas provides is also a great way to diversify to bring more renewables online. We see it across Europe, we create it, see it across different parts of the world, and gas helps deal with the intermittency of renewables actually enabling more renewables on the grid. And fourth is, technology is critical to making the most of the natural resource. Across natural gas technology change, sharing of best practices, technology development, there are things being worked on from environmental input, reducing emissions, water treatment, and reuse, which I'm sure we'll talk about more as we go through Q&A. So in the end, I'd reiterate my opening statement. U.S. natural gas supply is a global megatrend. Everybody's watching. And in the end, the U.S. needs to lead. And I'd say needs to lead in three areas. Advanced technology, industry best practices, and smart policy. Thank you.